Hey folks, Jay Barino here. Welcome back. Continuing StarCraft Remastered, still on Rebel Yell. Let's watch the downing of NORAD 2. It appears that the Confederates are in a state of panic about the Antiguan Revolt. I'm picking up a high number of Confederate transmissions going back and forth between their outposts and their headquarters on Parsonis. Most of the transmissions are heavily coded, but wait, here's something. There's a General Duke calling from Alpha Squadron flagship NORAD 2. We've crash landed and are being hit hard by the Zerg. Request immediate backup from anyone receiving this signal. Repeat, this is the priority one distress call. Zerg? Here? <laughs> Serves them right. About time they got a taste of what it's like to be in there mixing it up. Jim, I want you to move in and save that base. I'm positive I didn't hear that right. Arcturus, have you lost your mind? Listen, I know Duke's a cold-hearted bastard, but an entire colony shouldn't have to suffer for that. Besides, a Confederate general could prove to be a powerful ally. This is an opportunity we cannot miss. I don't like this at all. I'm not asking you to like it. I'm asking you to do it. Yes, sir. Great. Let's get this over with. Okay, protect Battlecruiser NORAD 2, bring Rainer and two dropships to NORAD 2. Go ahead, Commander. Okay, let's get to it. Just send Jim in first, then follow up. Because these little jerks that are here, he's not in danger. He's fine. He's fine, I just had to remind myself. Okay, let's move on in as soon as possible. Capturing the command center gives you control of everything. Alright, start mining, except one of you. Go ahead and save the engineering bay. Just get it out of the red. That's my only concern, because otherwise uh, it's too much money to save it from burning down. This is your little tutorial to say that it will burn down. That's kind of one you maybe do need a, a little tooltip popping up for, a little tip to be very clear. Like, it's going to burn down, because otherwise, unless you click on it, the fire is an indication enough that it may be burning down. In some cases, it is. We better hurry. That ship won't last long against those sir. Rock and roll. Okay, so this is this is interesting, specifically because you've got these three Goliaths here, but they do have a tendency of getting spawned broodling dawns, so let's just, uh, let's just hang out here, and also it's probably worthwhile to put our, uh, probably worthwhile to put these SCVs inside the bunkers when they're not repairing. Okay, and we need to repair, or we need to defend ourselves quite heavily, so the Zerg tend to come from over here, so let's throw in maybe just like a fire bat in here couple marines, we can load up this bunker, throw the goliath over down here, and then Jim Rayner, give us some spider mines just in case. Because again, this is where I expect the enemy to come from. We can also set some stuff up here just in case they decide to be assholes and try to sneak in over here and also. Because they can come from any direction. We kind of talked about how the, uh, the StarCraft 1 AI can be very, very silly sometimes, so you, you really cannot anticipate it, which makes it great and awful in different ways, so... Uh, just gotta prepare for all of that. Probably wanna repair these bunkers pretty quickly as well. We'll just get out some units as soon as possible to help us defend. Now we've got our Goliaths here. Okay, zooming in, I really like the Goliaths, and like this view right here, that's that's classic StarCraft 1 Goliath. But when you turn it, again, the front zoomed out looks... Maybe it's just because it's the color white, but when you zoom in and you see the cockpit, I think it's great. That's definitely why I think it, it gets better the closer you, the closer you look. Okay, let's get our geyser saturated here, just because we won't be able to repair our Goliaths or NORAD 2 until that happens. And the sooner that we can grab uh, infantry weapons and such, the better. All right, come on now. Come on now. There you go. All right, buddy, why don't you come on up here and give us some repairs? That's all fine. I don't think I need to load anything up there. 
Okay, and we'll just start making some Marines to, to keep us alive in the meantime. That might be overboard. I'd rather make SCVs instead. Gotta saturate this gas. You start with virtually nothing. Good old Arturus. Hey, here's 75 minerals. Go save the base, asshole. Thanks. Real smart. Good thinking. Yes, this is crucial. This is crucial to our plan. Let's uh, let's give them the most minimal amount of of defense as possible. Good thinking. So we can make our own Goliaths now. So I could do one of two things. There's actually another base. I actually never knew. When I was a young child, I always played on one base here. But there's a second base you can take up here. It's relatively undefended. Throw down like a bunker there, you're probably fine. So maybe I'll do that. Alternatively, I just make a starport. And I make some dropships and I drop at the top of this area. So I'm not sure yet what exactly I want to do. Let's go and get some more marines to react in case the Zerg want to come from over here. Probably will make a bunker over here just in case. And here's also another instance where we can throw down supply depot. Well, never mind. We don't have enough money. Let's just keep making SCVs until we're a little more flush with money. But I'm also not going to stop making marines in the meantime. Let's see, how's it going? What? They target fired my, uh, my weak Goliath. I should have repaired him while I could. Right, repair and repair. Alright, well, at least it wasn't spawn broodlings. Get in there and then hop back in. I don't need to repair Norad 2 right now. It's a waste of money, I think. They won't attack Norad 2 because it's kind of a neutral unit. I mean, it's not neutral. It's, it's hostile, but it doesn't attack them, so they won't prioritize attacking it. Or at least they shouldn't until the bunkers are gone. So, again, we lost to Goliath. It's unfortunate, but not the end of the world. Okay, that was fine. Uh, you can stay in there until we make another fire bat. Go ahead and keep harvesting. So, what I was talking about doing is we can make supply depots on the outside here to block Zergling surrounds. So, I will be doing that on certain missions, depending on how challenging they may end up getting. Because this game does get harder and harder and harder once we get to the big push, which is coming up here pretty soon. That's... I think the big push is known for being the difficulty spike of this game. Almost without a doubt. It's a tricky one. I want to get a, an armory as soon as possible. We can start some upgrades for our for our Goliaths. No bunker salvaging, unfortunately. Okay, and I'm like, I could get crazy. I can make another one down here. Again, it's just to stop major Zergling surrounds. And once we get an academy up, we make one fire bat, and rather than trying to follow Zerglings as they try to surround the bunker, you can hit several at once and really utilize that splash damage. So, not entirely necessary, but certainly something we can utilize on this map, because why not? All right, Goliath, come on. There you go, you can just sit there on hold position. Uh, Jim... Oh, we never repaired him from the beginning, that's cool. So let's go ahead and just make more SCVs. Gotta just stockpile gas right now, honestly. Otherwise, we're not gonna be able to make much progress. More Marines. Okay, that's what I expected. They were going to attack up in that direction. Okay, so I suppose we'll make another bunker up there as well. Just unload this, because we're gonna make a fire bat for that bunker. Just keep making Marines in the meantime. As long as we can continue making SCVs and Marines, then we will tech up on top of that. I won't need too many Wraiths. I'm going to make a couple pretty much to sacrifice themselves to distract a Spore Colony while we drop. Okay. SCV coming over here. Fire Bat, please, for the bunkers. And then more Marines. And I'll throw down a bunker up here just to be absolutely safe. Can spider mines damage buildings? Because I didn't think so. But my concern is I put this here. Zerglings try to surround it. And then this spy, this spider mine uproots. And just, just does a huge amount of damage to the bunker. It's definitely possible. It's definitely something that is possible. Alright, let's get that armory. Actually, no. We don't have a factory. Okay, factory. Oh, that's right. It's 200, not 150. That's StarCraft 2 life. We're all spoiled. Okay, let's grab Comsat Station. Hotkey it. U-238 shells coming out. I'm feeling pretty well defended here. I don't think we need much more than this. We can just load this bunker up and be and call it a day. Get a second turret over here, because why not? And then more Marines. Just keep it, keep them coming. And now we're just waiting for our factory. There's really nothing we can do otherwise. So that's actually okay, because we can stockpile money. Yeah, let's let's repair Norad too. Uh, it'll make me feel a little bit safer at least. I 
don't expect mutalisks up here. And if if I wouldn't if I don't expect them, why am I building this? I don't know. Just a little insurance. It's relatively cheap to not worry about that. So factory's done. Let's get an armory. Uh, we don't need a machine shop because we're not gonna make. We're not gonna get vulture upgrades. You don't need. You only need a machine shop as a tech primer for siege tanks, which we can't build yet. Let's get a starport because we're gonna need dropships as a requirement for completing the mission anyway. Okay, well, it looks like they're going to want to continue attacking up there. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. See, this is where it is tempting to go take that other base. Rather than making a bunker here, we just take this base, and presumably they'd attack us up from that direction instead. Mr. Firebat. Okay. And, as usual, again, I might as well keep this up. No hydralisks are really large attacks yet, so we can just push towards the finish here. Okay, starport's almost done. Goliaths are able to be built. Let's grab vehicle weapons. Starting these upgrades is definitely worth it because they are time-consuming, so the earlier in a mission you can do it, the less time you're going to spend. You never want to be in a situation where all you're doing is waiting around for like a plus two to finish before you, you want to actually move out and, and try to win. Sort of a waste. Okay, we're nowhere close to being supply blocked, which means in about 10 minutes I'll get supply blocked. But that's okay. For now, we're in we're in decent shape. I got fire bats in all our bunkers. I like the fire bat wireframe too. He looks so cute. Oh my word! Look at look at him. It's great. Okay. SCV, get to mining. We need a control tower because we're going to need drop ships. Might as well start building them as soon as possible. Let's get a couple Goliaths out. Maybe get like four or five of them plus Marines will be ready to go. Maybe make can make a few more Vultures to back up Jim. They're really good for getting rid of Zerglings. While also not running right into sunken colonies as Firebats are prone to do. So that may be the right choice. Again, I'm mostly just waiting for cash. I, it was a good idea, I think, to get going on this gas as soon as possible because we're going to need... Uh, drop ships. So let's start building them. I'd like four to five full drop ships. That's my ultimate goal. Yeah, I think these Goliaths that are red colored are, yes, they're a lot more distinguishable, without a doubt. It's the shoulder plates that match the rest of the Goliaths coloring. I mean, it's a, it's a little, you know, it's white versus gray, but it's, it's very, very similar. The enemy attacks are even smaller than I recall them being, which is strange. Okay, let's make three dropships. Gonna make Goliaths. Get another Goliath. That's one full dropship of Goliaths. Some Marines. We're making more. I suppose I can make some fire bats to bring along. And we'll bring Jim. Cool. And this is mine in a way. I could just... Just because I've never actually, in the original game, gone and looked. It was only in Mass Recall. But up here... Okay, there's two Hydralisks, but there's just a nice base up here with, with what looks like even more money than what is in our existing base. So we go and hold on to that. You throw it on a bunker, because I think that this is where the orange and blue attacks come from that hit us from this direction. Because otherwise, I don't think the enemy would run from this direction to the left and then down. I think they're coming from that ramp. I'm not 100% sure, but it certainly seems that way. With our extra money, we make wraiths, some sacrificial wraiths. And we can make more units that we can ferry back and forth. We need enough drop ships to do a full drop to kill one or two sunken colonies, which shouldn't be that bad. Upgrade complete. Can I take your Actually, order? let's get ship plating. It's more expensive, but I think it'll be worth it. We actually are running into a minor situation that I was kind of describing, where at this point I'm kind of just waiting for money, which is not good. Can scan sweep here. We're going to drop right in this direction. This spore colony will probably nab us, but that's what the wraiths are going to be for. And then we'll just walk our way up and around to to Mr. Duke. No spawn broodlings on my on my Goliaths. I'm actually very happy with that. Okay. Again, if if all this stuff finishes, then I'm not going to be concerned with with waiting for upgrades, but, you know, just getting that plus one, just for the spore colonies that we're dropping on top of. We have to drop and get rid of this sunken colony, and then destroy the spore colony, and then we have a wide open landing zone to move. 
The other option is to make a is to take this base, secure it by making one or two bunkers on either side of it, and then making a large enough ground force to just push through the entirety of the Zerg bases, which requires you to go all the way up and around uh, here. Yeah, all the way up and around this entire area, which is another Zerg base. Which, I mean, it's fine. It's not like, like it would be the worst thing in the world to do, but we could be a little crafty, a little sneaky. They call me Sneaky J. Barino. Nobody's ever called me that, but I've always wished it, you know? Not in like a like a predatory way, though. That's, yeah, that's There's a negative connotation there, so in a way, I guess, it's like 50-50. I wouldn't be... I wouldn't be taken aback if someone called me Sneaky J. Barino, but again, there, there is definitely a negative connotation that could go with that, which concerns me, so it's probably best I just avoid it altogether. Okay, we about ready to go? Let's do it. Yeah, okay. Well, maybe we should wait for plus one. Just kidding. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not playing that game. We can bring, we can also bring some SCVs to repair us just in case something goes terribly wrong. Okay, Jim Rayner. Wouldn't be a party without Jim Rayner. Please don't get killed by a uh, sunken colony, please, when we drop you. That would be absolute critical. Let's just go ahead and throw down a, a safety save. Okay, race. Here we go. Uh, just, just go, and then we will drop right here. Okay. The landing has is happening. Okay, please don't lose Jim Rayner inside of a dropship. I don't know which dropship he's in, but I don't think he was unloaded. Yeah. Okay, that was very dangerous. Okay, well, the race did their job, and they didn't have to sacrifice themselves. We remake Marines, and then Goliaths, and we make another trip. So come on, buddies. We probably have enough of a force here. We just got to push up. There's there's only a couple sunken colonies. It's really not the worst thing. So we just start pushing through here. You guys back up. Yep, there you go. Zergling. Oh, wait. You motherfuckers. Don't do this to me. Where's Jim Rayner? He's safe, right? Yeah, okay. He's fine. Okay, yeah, that one Zergling was trying to circumvent me. That's what I'm talking about. StarCraft AI likes to be a tricky little asshole sometimes. Wait, wait, wait. We want to repair this. You can't right-click on top of dropships. Might as well just clear all this out as best we can. Gonna have to kill that Scourge. Let's see if we can snag it. Nice. Okay, all of our Goliaths, or I'm sorry, all of our other Firebats are dead. That's unfortunate. Let's uh, let's take this out and then take this out. Oh, poor Firebat. You sweet summer soul. Okay. Yeah, Jim Rayner's tanking for us. Good work, buddy. Okay, and then we'll make another drop. Make another drop, please. Can you not fit? Okay, yeah, we have too many Goliaths in there. All right, these guys are healed up, but now we have our opening, as I was talking about. So we just bring them in, and we can bring these we can bring these uh, dropships with us. Let's get a little closer here. There we go. And then we have, like, one or two more sunken colonies to get through, and then we're there. So I think it was worth getting some reinforcements. Should have brought those SCVs like I talked about. All right, fresh troops to the front. No, no, no. We don't need to we don't need to be doing that. Just avoid that stuff. Again, we're gonna be we're just gonna circumvent a lot of the the defenses in this map. We can even unload our stuff here. I mean for all intents and purposes, we can we can finish this. So let's load on up. Just hit the victory trigger like this. Oh Jesus, wait, 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 wait. There's Scourge right there. Um, Goliaths move to the edge. I mean, we're probably fine. Yeah, we're shooing them away. 
What's your angle here, Minsk? Our angle? I'll give you an angle, you slimy Confederate piece of sh Jim, enough. I'll handle this. The Confederacy has fallen apart, Duke. Its colonies are in open revolt. The Zerg are rampaging unchecked. What would have happened here today if we hadn't shown up? Your point? I'm giving you a choice. You can return to the Confederacy and lose, or you can join us and help save our entire race from being overrun by the Zerg. I don't think it's a difficult decision. Join forces with you? I'm a general, for God's sake. A general without an army. I'm offering you a position in my cabinet, not just some backwater post. Don't test my patience. Nice, we've got General Duke. Actually, in retrospect, we didn't even have to clear out all this stuff. We just had to go down and clear out the anti-air and we could have flown right there. But that's okay, we finished it. Unnecessary casualties, I suppose. When we come back, we're gonna head into the trump card, which I personally feel is probably the first uh, more more challenging mission of the campaign. Like, NORAD 2's okay. It's I mean, the enemy attacks are nah, But NORAD 2, not NORAD 2, I'm sorry, the trump card is where things start getting... Uh, particularly harder, markedly more challenging. All right, see you then. Bye now.